timbers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, bringing you first impressions on the latest indie games. Today, we are taking a look at Lauren the Amazon Princess. Lauren the Amazon Princess is developed by Winter Wolves, and you can currently pick it up on their website for the grand total of $24.99. It also has an expansion for an extra 10 bucks for the grand total of $34.99. The game is a sort of an RPG, an old style RPG, and basically it's very heavily text based. You can pick up the game on Windows, Mac and Linux, and I think you can also play it on the web, but I'm not exactly sure about that. You can get a demo of it as well if you want to check it out. Let's load up our save game. Alright, so I've just gone through some combat and I'm going to level up now. So this is our, sort of our kind of main character, or main protagonist, I guess, I guess. Uh, I can go up in strength. I can auto-assign as well. So I've got three attribute points that I can put on. Uh, I'll do skill and actually I'll do all three, why not? And then finally you've got skill points. Uh, so it gives you a description of all this, all the things that you need to know. Increases character maximum hit points by 15, for example. Great increase of enemies. Stagger value has a 40% chance of inflicting confusion. And so on and so forth down the line. So let's go with maximum hit points. Yes. Okay, I'm finished with that one. And we'll level up our other guy here. As you can see, <laughs> it's very uh, Japanese-like in the art department. <laughs> uh, the armor is fairly non-functional uh, to allow the maximizing of skin um, and that goes for men and women so this is a guy I was just upgrading a girl before so let's go with uh, two strength and we'll go with one skill and our skill points well let's see here um, increases damage yep let's do that awesome okay and we're done now you can have up to six people in your party and no that was the wrong one where are we uh, no. anyway uh you'll see that soon enough where you can you can actually choose who's in your party you can have more than six people with you and then you can choose to have six people in a fight so there's a difference there uh this is my quests I've only got one at the moment. I need to find the missing Amazon queen. Of course, I am an Amazon, so Lauren is one, I should say. And you've got all your gear here. So I've got a helmet, for example, uh, a plate helm to be more specific, and uh, all the other stuff, all the, all the usual goodies. So you've got uh, rings and weapons and, and so on and so forth. Uh, then all your stats are down here. So I've got uh, immune resist, weak, and critical. And then all my attack and defense and all that sort of jazz and my strength, skill and will. And then my level XP and all that sort of stuff. So fairly stock standard. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Alright, um, what else is here? Just my skills and my inventory. So I've got a sword. I have a shield also, which I'm not currently using. Oh, because I'm using two swords. Right, there you go. Okay, so we have arrived in a town. They arrived in Gil... Uh, Gimmerilor. Uh, Saren was able to get them past the gate guard without any trouble. Just a warning to keep all weapons away. The overmarket in the town square was bustling with activity. Okay, so this is usually the general setup of interaction between people. Now, according to the website, you can have romances between characters. And you do that at campfires, so you, you or you develop romances at campfires, I should say. Um, that's uh, twelve unique romances, so it's very it's very dialogue heavy. This game, it, it's uh, I'm actually playing on easy mode, so so that as according to the game, when you play in easy mode, it's it's more focused on the dialogue and less on the combat. The combat's quite easy, so that you can sort of play casually and just go through the, the story and, and use it like a storybook, I guess. Alright, so uh, so this 
uh, is all the human empire can show for their capital. And you get to choose, every now and then you get to choose how you're going to approach. Now, I'm mainly the guy here in, the, in this. I could choose to be a guy or a girl at the start. And also I could choose uh, certain attributes via uh, answering questions. Uh, most of mine were plus two in strength. So I kept getting plus two, plus, plus two, plus two, and on and on. You could get plus two in will if you answered differently. And the questions are fairly, you know, easy to decipher. Uh, it would be things like, you know, I've worked on the training grounds or I worked in the library or I worked uh, some other place. If you chose the library, you get plus two wheel. If you chose the training grounds, you get plus two in strength and so on and so forth. So we're going to answer this jokingly. Oof, it smells just as charming to the sooner we find my mother, the sooner we may wash this stench from us. Come, we need to find out what these settlers know. Lauren wants to search all over Gilmore for clues this and Saren will have a chance to react at each location. This is a time to build your character's personality. Every time you select a choice between joking friendly or forceful answers, you influence Saren's attitude. To end the search, go to the tavern. Alright, let's do one or two of these. They walked through the stalls of the market. Lauren flinched and recalled at everyone that was hurrying past her. Her patience disappeared. She stomped her foot and shouted at the top of her lungs. Enough! I am Lauren of the Amazons. I am on a search for my mother. The whole of the marketplace turned to, to gawk at her. And then they continued with what they were doing, completely uninterested. Lauren was stunned, having never been ignored in her life. Saren was worried that she would take it personally and become angry, so he swooped in to disrupt her thoughts. Let us ask one of the vendors personally. Maybe they have seen our queen. Oh dear, look at this guy. Looks like a damn hippie. <laughs> Lauren's lips pressed tightly together as she reluctantly, reluctantly walked up to a fruit stall. I am Princess Lauren, my mother, the queen of the Amazons. Fresh apples, apples, good fruit. Good fruit for you. The salesman picked up a bright red fruit that neither of them had seen before and shoved it into Lauren's hands. Her eyes went large from being handled like a commoner. One apple or two apples? Lauren, however, however was too offended to respond. Two apples, two apples for the big woman. Oh dear. Two apples, six gold. Uh, let's go for forceful. This is a princess you are speaking to. Watch yourself or meet the end of my blade. Everyone in the stall hushed instantly. Lauren dropped the apple without care for it. We're leaving. Yes, ma'am. The princess would not subject, subject herself to the horror of the marketplace again. Oh, you poor dear. All right, so that's uh, that. We'll go to the tavern and get out of here and see if we can get into some combat. And I'm just going to skip a few bits and pieces here. Uh, let's go for friendly. Do, 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 do. As you can see, lots and lots of dialogue. So if you like story-based games, then you're probably going to like this. It's fairly well written. I mean, it's pretty stock standard. It's not a, a hugely exceptional, but it isn't crap either. So, all right, we're just going to skip all of this. And, oh, dear. Wow. Okay, somehow we got into a load of trouble. Some guards who were standing in the corner hurried forward to apprehend them. Ah, uh, this guy that we met previously, he is a fire magician, I believe. And he is back. Alright. So, often combat has dialogue before it. Cool, so we got this guy now. So this is what I was talking about when I was saying you can have six people in combat. And uh, often, well eventually I should say, you'll have a whole bunch of people that you can choose from here. You won't be able to fit them all in here because there'll be more than six. But depending on the combat that you're about to enter, you'll want different people, I guess. Okay, so also it has restrictions. There are certain people that have to be in the party. So at this point in time, the magician here has to be in the party. All right, that's done. So let's go into combat. So this is the combat system 
essentially you can hover over people and it shows all their resistances the hit points and all that sort of stuff of course you have a read up of the hit points and their manner as well on their actual profile as well as the enemy's manner and profile and of course you can hover over them to see all their stuff as well then you can click on the person and you can switch positions or you can use an item uh, otherwise what you do is you click on an enemy and decide how you want to attack him so for example with this guy I can do a melee attack and that'll take 11 to 12 hit points off him or I can attack this guy or likewise this guy if I so desire I can also use items on these people if I want to and on the right here, it's got the movement order. So it shows that who's going first, second, third, and so on and so forth. So Lauren here, who is actually highlighted, will be going first, then Draco, then Saren, and then the guards, and then so on and so forth. So you can also access your inventory, I believe. Yeah, and uh, you can change your weapons around and do all that kind of stuff too. So uh, fairly, it's a stock standard combat system from a long time ago but also it's fairly fleshed out so all right let's attack this guy Hiya! and we'll probably attack we'll just focus our attacks on on these guys um wow he does a lot of damage with this fire thing okay hits target with a fire damage of 300 percent of the caster's base attack and has a 10 percent chance of causing burn condition for three turns the enemies on the sides take 50 percent damage Ooh, so that means if I attack this guy, everyone will take damage and they'll all die instantly. Um, what we might do is just do some fairly simple attacks just so you get the idea. It'll let, allow them to attack back as well. Now, finally, our little warrior here, he can do ranged attacks as well. So, yeah, for example, if there were three people in the back here or one person or two or whatever... Um, then you can attack them with ranged attacks as well. Now, if I wanted to attack the back rank with a sword, I can't do that because they're too far away. So you just got to keep that in mind. We'll do a ranged attack because why not? You get two kinds of range attack for this guy. You get a slower long range attack with increased accuracy that hits for 150%, or you just got the basic attack. We'll go for the basic one. Ouch. Around. goodness me so that's uh, around about how the combat works so let's uh, end this combat with the yeah. giant fireball yeah. it's done let's go. <laughs> I won alright so I can level up again and I'll get some loot and it just shows how much experience everyone got and what we need to get for the next level so for example I need 50 more XP to get to level 3 for him, 74 to level 2 for him, and I'm already leveled up for this young lady. Okay, so, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, there are two actual skill trees for this person, I think there might be two skill trees for everyone, so we'll go for the offhand. Well, I don't have the skills at this point in time. Alright, and I've got no actual skill points, that's why. <laughs> okay, so we'll go for uh, two into strength and one into skill. And finished, and we're done. So that's basically the very quick impressions of the game at this point in time. It seems okay, it's, it's engaging. Uh, I, I think maybe the price point's a little bit too high. In fact, it's a lot too high if I'm completely honest. Uh, at least for me anyway. If people who like this game might, you know, find that perfectly acceptable. But um, at any case, at any rate, I should say, the game is actually on green light right now. So if you like what you see, then do go and vote for it there. Otherwise, you can go and pick up the game from their website and, yeah, buy it from there uh, for Windows, Macs, and Linux. So that is it for today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This has been your host, the Pixel Pirate, and we'll see you next time.